So hi guys, this is Varsha and you're watching Mastermind. So friends, in this session we are going to discuss some of the important questions from your human evolution chapter and all these questions which we are going to provide you are from the model test papers of many different books which are published as per the latest CISCE curriculum. And all these questions are very important for your ICC 2020 board examination. So please go through all these questions properly. And mind you that this question, this chapter, it was included last year only. That is human evolution. Before that, it was not there. So since it is a new chapter, so you will not find many questions, much questions in your 10 years. So you can refer to all these questions. These are important for your board examinations. And it is also a kind of revision for you all. So let us begin. And yes, if you want the PDF of this, then you will get it in the description box. If you want the PDF, then you can download it from the description box. So let us begin. And from this chapter, there are some of the picture based questions which are asked last year also it was asked that is 2018 board examination a picture question was asked but you cannot expect it to be the same this time also but besides this there are some other pictures so you can go through the picture type of questions because diagram based question because it is asked in your board examination so let us begin so the first question what is the scientific name of the organism which is considered as the classical example of natural selection so the scientific name of the organism which is considered as the classical example of natural selection is Biston betularia. And be careful with your spellings. It is Biston betularia. This pen is not working so let me use another pen. It is Biston betularia. Now the next question. Name the organism that is studied for industrial melanism so it is again the same but this time it is it is not asking the scientific name so you have to write it is moth it is a kind of butterfly and it is known as moth now the next question the first remarkable human fossil was that of homo habilis or homo sapiens or homo africanus so you have to write we have to tick mark the correct option that is the first remarkable human fossil so the first Remarkable human fossil was that of Homo habilis. So it is your Homo habilis. Now the next question. Name any two vestigial organs found in human beings. So this is also a very important question which is asked most of the time. It can be asked this time also. Last time also this question was there. So the two vestigial organs found in human beings. It is wisdom teeth and your pinna. So it is wisdom teeth. And... Pinna, which is a part of your human ear and besides this you can also write vermiform appendix you can write either of these it is vermiform appendix so you can write any two now the next question question number five name the pre-human ancestor so the pre-human ancestor, this answer you are going to write to us in the comment section below and then we are going to come back to you. So do not forget to answer this in the comment section. Now the next question, who proposed the theory of natural selection? So this is again very easy. The person, the scientist who proposed the theory of natural selection was Darwin. So this is Darwin. Now the next one, question number seven. Who proposed the theory of inheritance of acquired characters? So, the person who proposed the theory of inheritance of acquired characters is Lamarck. So, this is your Lamarck. And be careful with your spellings. It is L-A-M-A-R-C-K. And you have to write the full name. So, it is J.B. Lamarck. Now, the next one, question number 8. This is the last question. And friends, these were all of the, all the short questions that are mostly asked from this chapter. And besides this, there are also some long questions that are asked. So you can go through the Lamarck's theory of inheritance, which is very important. And, and it is 100% sure that from this chapter, if any long question is asked, then this will be a part of that. And also the Darwin's theory of natural selection. These two are the very important questions. So please go through this. That is your Lamarck's theory of inheritance as well as the Darwin's theory of natural selection. These are very important and besides this from your picture composition you can expect that the picture of industrial melanism of the moth that is Biston betularia it can be asked. If it is asked so then you can answer it. So please study that. And besides this if you want me to make a video on industrial melanism concept so I can uh, 
teach you that so for that you have to write to us in the comment section and now the next and the last question which is again important one characteristic you have to give one characteristic feature of neanderthals and one characteristic feature of australopithecus so the one characteristic feature of neanderthals is neanderthals they walk upright with bipedal legs bipedal movement and one characteristic feature of your australopithecus is that members of australopithecus are a combination of human like and ape like traits so you can note it down i'm not writing it here one characteristic feature of australopithecus is that members of australopithecus they are a combination of human like and ape like traits and neanderthals it is that neanderthals they walk upright with bipedal movement so you can note it down and besides this if you want the pdf of this then you are going to get it in the description box so friends this was the video thanks for watching this video and besides this if you have any doubts or queries then you can write to us in the comment section and do not forget to answer question number 5 in the comment section thank you